Hello everyone, this is Kathy Logan and I've got the pleasure of introducing you to one of many changes and additions to Winner version 11. If you're following along with your software while you're watching this video, please go to the editor and open up a file in the editor. Once you've done that, please depress Control I to access the auto index page because we're going to do a little bit of setup ahead of time. Once you've done that, click on the Generate tab and place an X in the index page area. From here, I want you to open up Categories. ProCAD has added some new formats for you in your indexing. Let's take a look at them now. I'm going to depress this down arrow and you're going to see six versions of exhibit formatting and versions of the witness formatting. The only thing that you have to understand before you start is the difference between ungroup and group. If you select exhibits in a group, what that means is all of the state's exhibits or commonwealth's exhibits or the uh, plaintiff's exhibits and defendant's de exhibits will be all in one group. They will either be alphabetically or chronologically in order. Index to witnesses is the same. You will have witnesses presented by one side in a group and witnesses uh, in a group by the other side. You can have them in alphabetical order, chronological order. We have added one other option in the exhibit area and that's exhibit ID where you can group them by the defendant's exhibits by ID number or you can have them as an ungroup in the order in which they were presented by both sides. So let's take a look at what I have set for myself. My first one, I like chronological order and I'm going to do them ungrouped. That means they will be presented in the order in which they took the stand for the witnesses and as far as exhibits are concerned they will be in the order in which the exhibits were introduced. We've also added something new called requested document. If your judge or one of the attorneys asks to have a specific item presented or sent to them, you can now add that to your index page. And I'm also going to show you the certified questions for those of you that are freelancing, please remember that the items that you place here will be printed in your index. So if you're not using all six categories, place the word none in the ones that you are not using. Let's take a look at one more thing. There are some courthouses that we have found where the judge likes a certain format in the index, but maybe the attorneys prefer a different format. You can also do that. For instance, let's say the judge wants the witnesses in chronological order ungrouped, but you have an attorney who would like to have their witnesses in alphabetical order grouped both formats will print, print within the index. I'm going to change this back to my exhibits and we're now going to take a look at the grouping order. You want to look here and set this up so that whichever you want to print first you have in that order. So in other words for me, since I used to work in a Commonwealth state, I would have the Commonwealth first, 
and I would have the defense second and so on. So you can place these in any order you want and there are some simple instructions right here to show you how to move some of these items around. So with that said, let's close our auto index page now that our categories are set up and let's begin to edit. Now before we start, for those of you that might be new, in ProCat's automatic indexing, it does not matter when you index. You can wait until you're all finished editing and then do your indexing. Or you can do what I usually do, and that is I do all my indexing from the beginning of the transcript to the end of the transcript. It does not matter any longer. If you forget something or if you make a mistake, and especially after you have generated your index page, you no longer have to delete the original index page, fix what you need to fix, and regenerate it. Once you've generated it in the new winner version 11, any changes you make will automatically be changed in your already generated index page. All right, let's start. I'm going to highlight Mr. Robinson's name here because I want his name to appear in my index. I'm going to use my control I key. It's going to take me to my witness area. I'm going to select direct. Um, I am going to add Marilyn Wysick. And this witness is going to be for the defendant, and Mr. Robinson is here. I'm going to click OK. It also puts the, um, the attorney's name in blue, and anything that you highlight before going to the index area will be placed in blue so that you know that you didn't forget to index it. Now we're going to go to cross-examination. I'm going to once again, I'm going to highlight my attorney that's doing the cross-examination. I'm going to do my control I and I'm going to set it for cross-examination. The attorney's name is here and I'm going to click OK. We're going to move down the page a little bit here and we now have an index that was marked for identification. Again, I'm going to highlight what the exhibit was because I like a description in my index. I'm going to go to the index area and this time click on the exhibit tab. I'm going to type in exhibit number three and it is for identification by the defendant. I'm going to click OK. And again you'll see that is in blue. I'm now going to move down the page just a little bit here and we're going to give you an example of two things. <clears throat> First thing is, right here, I'm going to add, just very quickly, uh, the court, where the court is saying, please send me a copy of the license. I am going to highlight the word license. I am going to go to my index area. This time I'm going to click on the requested document tab. It brings the description of the document that's been requested in and I'm going to click on OK. Now I am from here going to show you, if for those of you that are freelancing, if you have a certified question, all you need to do is put your cursor in front of the queue. Don't highlight anything. Do your control I, go to your certified queue area. You'll notice it brings it in and you can now say OK to that. Let's say now we're done editing and I'm going to now generate um, my index page. So 
I'm going to place my cursor on the first line of text of page 2 because I want my index to appear on page 2. So before I generate it, I need to make sure that it is on page 2. I'm now going to do control I. I am going to go to the generate area. I'm going to place a check mark in auto index and I'm going to click on OK. Now you'll notice down here I'm on page 2 here is my index. We have our witnesses first and because I did them ungrouped I'm showing um, you know my direct and my cross and who the, the attorneys were. My exhibits uh, there was one for identification. Um, I have a requested document which was a license and I also have in my certified question area the question. Now I don't use unanswered questions. I use certified so you can type in here and change it to whatever you want. You will notice the blocked areas around the text. I don't want you to worry about it appearing um, when you go to print your transcript. It will not. Let's go to print preview and you'll see in print preview all those lines are not there any longer. The reason they're there is so that it makes it easier for you if you want to type in all other information or delete something that you don't want. So like here where I have license I can also now type in to be submitted and without everything moving around on my page. So that's all there is to the automatic indexing. My suggestion to each of you is that you take a moment, go into the categories area under the generate tab and do some examples for yourself to see how things print out before you decide which one you want to set. Thank you very much for allowing me to share your time and I look forward to maybe speaking to you in the future.